Hi guys, Sandy Bell with my fairy treasures. How you guys doing out there? Okay, we got a Dollar Tree haul. Okay, also we have a giveaway. I'm gonna talk about the giveaway. Um, oh wait a minute. Yeah, I'll talk about the giveaway a little further into the video because I'm gonna show it to you. Um, when we get to it. Oh, actually, no, I'm gonna show it to you right now. Okay, here we go. So I'll show you the giveaway first. Um, so let me show you these first. Now these are already opened. I did. These are eyeshadow, new eyeshadow palettes, and they're in the giveaway. Now, not these two. These are my personal ones, but we're gonna get to some in the bag, and you'll get new ones in packaging. Okay. Um, I did this eyeshadow look with these two palettes. Isn't that pretty? So these are two new ones. I'm so excited. So this is Dreamy Mauves. And I'm going to... Um, there we go. The light's bouncing on it. I'm going to um, do some samples. Do some um, swatches. And then, okay, so this one's called Dreamy Mauves. And you guys, they are so, so richly pigmented. They're not powdery. They're beautiful. And in fact, just a second. Okay, um, these palettes remind me of Too Faced palettes. And I'm going to put in the thing, Too Faced eyeshadow palette dupes. Okay, because to me they're dupes. I'm not saying they're exact replica of, of a palette, but it's the colors. And it's the way that they, um, the richness of the colors, um, how they go on. They're not powdery at all. They're very rich. And so, I'm going to show them to you. But look, look, this is, I have tons of Too Faced palettes. So I know what I'm talking about. There's this one here. And I have larger ones too, but this is to show you. Look at these colors. See what I'm saying? And they go, these eyeshadows go on like these do. Let me go to the uh, Dreamy. Okay, this is the Dreamy Mauves. I'm going to, um. We're going to do some, um, we're going to test them out so you can see the colors. Look how, see the colors? They look like those colors I just showed you. And how they go on reminds me of that. Oh, wait, let me show you what else is in the giveaway. So, you're going to get these, but not these two ones in packages. And then I have two more, three more of these. And this is all Beauty Intuition. Um, those other two are Beauty Intuition too. Moody Neutrals. I've shown this a million times. Beautiful colors. This is one of my favorites, Peachy Nudes. And these are all, they have a Peachy Nude palette with the uh, Too Faced. All of these palettes remind me of the Too Faced palettes. Okay, look at that, isn't that beautiful? And then Soft Pinks. Okay, so you're gonna get five eyeshadow palettes. And then Beauty and, oh, this is um, MB. Um, eyeshadow brushes, or not eyeshadow brushes. Um, this is a, um, this is a foundation brush. Why do I not have my readers in here? Just a second, you guys, I gotta get a baby wipe. I might have to stop this because I need to have my readers. I don't know why I don't have them in here. You're getting a powder brush and a foundation brush. Just a second, my hand got some from the eyeshadow. Um, so this, this is the uh, foundation brush and then a powder brush. This one's slanted to the side and then this is rounded at the top. They look the same, but look how beautiful they are. It's that beautiful rose quartz. Aren't they gorgeous? <gasps> Love them. Okay, so you're gonna get five eyeshadow palettes and a blush and a blush, uh, a powder brush and a foundation uh, brush okay let's go ahead I'm gonna take the dreamy mauves and we're going to I'm um, gonna swatch a few of these and I have my you guys get this they have my Dollar Tree these little eyeshadow switchers so that you don't have to uh, you can choose the same brush for everything and then you just clean off your brush on one of these if you haven't seen this before um, I need an eyeshadow brush Alright, 
so let me just see how I'm gonna do this okay I'll just do it like this this will be the easiest way to do it all right so these colors are gorgeous and they're so rich and pigmented you guys they're going to work for so many skin tones that's how rich they're pigmented I love them so just a second while I put a few samples on here on my arm what this one looks like okay that one doesn't show up on me too much okay look at these colors oh aren't those gorgeous look at those beautiful this is what I'm talking about this is how pretty they are absolutely love those Okay, so these these eyeshadows that's how, that's the sign of a good eyeshadow that it just it just goes for all skin tones. You can go to the lightest of light skin tones to the darkest of dark with these with these two palettes, especially with most of these palettes. The only one that may not work on a really dark skin tone is the soft pinks for my giveaway. Um, and if it doesn't work for you, giveaway is a gift. Um, but the soft pinks on my skin tone does work, so. Okay. Oh, that's what I'm going to do. I'll do it on my, I remember there was a way I liked doing swatches. I'm going to do it on my hand on this next one. Okay. Smoky Browns. If I can get the darn thing opened. All right, come on. Okay, it shouldn't be that hard. I just opened it earlier. All right, just a second. Let me try to pop this open. All right, I got it open. All right. So we're going to do it on my hand. I forgot that's how I... I haven't done swatches for a while. And that's how I did swatches before. And I did it on my hand. I went like that. I seen somebody use swatches like that. I was like, oh, that's a good idea. Oh, these are gorgeous. These colors are phenomenal. Get that eyeshadow switcher that I'm telling you about in your life. You'll love having that. that color yet one more color and then we're oh that's pretty and you'll be surprised when you look at the colors they don't look like they would be this rich I mean they look rich see there's the colors and these are the smoky browns but look oh, are those divine or what they're everything in a bag of chips. Now, the Smoky Browns is even richer. It, these are almost the same. The Dreamy Mobs and the and the um, Smoky Browns are almost the same palette. This is just a little bit darker and richer, and this is just a tad bit lighter. But they'll both go for most skin tones, from lightest to darkest, especially this one. Okay? Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Ugh. So, I love collecting these eyeshadow palettes. And you know what? These eyeshadow palettes are way under, underserved, underutilized. I don't see a lot of people talking about these in haul videos. 
these eyeshadows are the bomb. And I'm surprised I don't hear more people talking about them because they go very quickly in the stores. Like, they're gone. Like, I was going to maybe buy a couple more of these. I only got these a couple days ago. They're already all gone. Okay. So, um, for the giveaway, all you need to do is just um, leave a message. Do any message you want. Um, be, have a U.S. address. And... Um, be a subscriber. That's it. And you'll get all of this. That's a lot of good stuff right there. Okay. So when we get to, now that I've shown you, I've already swatched the eyeshadow palettes. When we get to them, I'll just throw them in here. We won't need to, um, we won't need to swatch them. Let's move these from the whole thing so I don't get these mixed up with what I'm giving away. And I'll announce the winner. What is today? What is today, Monday? I'll announce the winner next Monday. Okay. All right. You guys, I'm so sorry I did not um, do this when school was in. I had these sitting over in the corner, and I kept forgetting about them. But they were only $5. They're in the plus section. They're these clear, they were the back-to-school backpacks for $5. And they had clear ones. Isn't this fabulous? I just thought this would be so good. For um, for my knitting, for my um, putting my knitting projects in. If you want to stuff for crafting, this would be cute to carry as a little pur as a purse, like a backpack purse. Wouldn't that be cute? So there's just so many. Oh, how do you open this? There's so many. I'm not gonna worry about opening it. Where is the zipper? Oh, there it is. There's so many uses for this. I absolutely love it and I didn't I got this on the tail end of, of the uh, of the back to school stuff because um, at first I'm like I don't want to spend five bucks but I'm like five bucks is nothing for a backpack and I've never seen a clear backpack would cost you like 20 25 dollars so when I seen that I was like oh yes so look at this look how big it is isn't that everything so I love this. If you're gonna take a trip to Disneyland, how cool would it be to put all the all your kids' Disney stuff in there? And give them one of these too. So I know you can't just go buy this because this was for, back for the back to school, but um, they could possibly come back out again, especially at Christmas time or something, or next year when they come out. Make sure you, if you like this, pick it up. Okay, love it. And I also got myself, of course, I love the turquoise, a pink one. Same thing in pink. Sorry I didn't show this to you guys when um, back to school stuff was going on. I just had these sitting over in the corner and I didn't, um, I don't know, brain fart. Anyway. Okay. Love those. Let me put those down. Next. Um, I, oh, I already started getting into this because I already opened it, but this ranch dressing is by Spice Trade. You get three packs. This is a great deal because, the, and it tastes really good. I've already made this. The ranch dressing um, that you buy at uh, the grocery store, I looked at it the other day. It was six bucks for a pack of three. Dollar twenty-five. This is great. Just one second. Let me put this stuff away. Okay. Then also for five dollars, I think I picked up two more pairs of these. Um, of these um, leggings. I usually wear like a medium, but you know what? Um, I usually will size up to a large so that just so they fit even more cozy. But these, I went up to an extra large. So, because a large is like a medium, uh, extra large is like a large. So, go up a size or two in these. You won't be sorry. So, uh, this is a great deal. Um, I work, I do Zumba like five days a week and Pilates. I have a Pilates machine at my house. And so I need my spandex to work out in. Plus, I love to wear it in the, in the wintertime, like one of my boho cardigans or um, my Ruanas that I knit. I knit, so. And a pair of these with um, like a shirt like this underneath it, long sleeve with a pair of boots. So cozy and warm. So I have tons of these. I probably have collected over this whole year since they got these. I probably picked up like 15 of them. 
maybe 20 and I know that sounds obnoxious but anymore my spandex cost $15 at Walmart they used to be five bucks I'm afraid I'm never gonna see them again I'm so you know what? I just want to stock at five dollars a piece and then if they stop carrying them then I don't have to worry I got a nice little stockpile for a long time okay next sometimes you just got a stockpile okay you know you know what I said I needed my readers well I have some readers right here yay I bought you guys I don't mind paying a dollar fifty don't tell Dollar Tree I said this but I don't pay, mind paying a dollar fifty for the glasses now that they've upgraded have you noticed that the glasses are nicer the readers and the sunglasses so look at this look how nice that looks it's like a little cat eye and they're a thicker frame they're heavier weighted they're better made so and I bought two more pairs oh love love okay let me take this little thing off of here off the corner all right my other ones right over there okay so we got some readers yay um oh i got some baby oil i bought three of these and i know you're like okay so um the reason i got this though is for um there's a thing where you can take paper because i do a lot of junk journaling you can take paper and uh rub it with uh baby oil and then set it outside and let it dry real good and it makes the paper look like it's see-through. It's very, very cool. What's that kind of paper called? There's a name for that kind of paper that you can see through it. Anyway, you can take any, like, um, printer paper weight and do it. And it's so cool. What's the name of that kind of paper? Anyway, and then you can use it in your junk journals. You can uh, fold it into signatures. You can put it in your junk journal. You could do, you can do so many things with that. It's just paper, but you can see through it. So it has, a, whatever has a cool design on it, put this on. Now you can see the cool design and you can see through it. Very cool. So I got like three bottles of that because, um, have you guys noticed at Dollar Tree, are your, comment below, are you some of your shelves at Dollar Tree uh, just bare? All my Dollar Trees here in Las Vegas, um, there are shelves that are just bare. There was only like, buy like six of these on the shelf they usually have tons of baby oil so I picked up three of them because I want to do a bunch of this type of paper I don't have to worry about it another thing alcohol alcohol I have not been able to I couldn't find alcohol peroxide for a month at Dollar Tree there's some uh, supply chain issues going on I don't know what it is um I love these water bottles I picked up two of them um, I'm always making up my own concoctions for either my hair do I make up my own DIY hair stuff or even stuff for cleaning around the house or for my craft room. So I always pick up these bottles when I see them. And I like the small ones. These work so much better than the big ones. See, I keep this one for my by my makeup station in case I need to like wet my makeup sponge or whatever. And they just last forever. And the the sprayers are always really good on them. So, all right. I don't buy the big one. This it's it's a 50/50 thing if the sprayer is going to work or not. Okay. It's 50 50. Yeah, longer than on here. Okay. Oh, okay. I got. Okay. Now, this is a dub for deviled eggs. Here's the lid. And here's the thing for deviled eggs. Now, I didn't get it for deviled eggs. But I may be using this for deviled eggs. But I got this as because I couldn't find any ice trays. And you can make ice cubes in here very easily. But I don't want it for ice cubes. What I wanted to make is um, I make my own DIY hair mask. Um, different hair rinse teas for my hair. Because I'm going through a whole a whole thing where I'm growing. I'm, these are my extensions now are just like more of a protective style. And I'm doing all these treatments on my, on my scalp and on my hair. My hair is in braids. And I'm growing my hair out. And so far, I was here about two months ago. And now I'm to here. So all these DIY hair care things that I'm learning about on YouTube, fabulous. So I'll be sharing all this stuff with you. Especially when I take out my extensions and I get my hair to the length I want it. Um, I'll be sharing all this with you. Okay. So, but, oh, the reason I got this is because I want to use them like an ice cube tray 
and I can free like you can if you make a bunch of masks like you can make a hair mask and out of bananas avocado if you want a little honey or glycerin a little shea butter um, olive oil and any other and maybe a little essential oil any other oils that you have um, especially if you have dry hair or black a lot of black women have drier hair or you know if you just have curly hair and it's drier this is a great moisturizing mask where well, you can make a bunch of it and then freeze them so I did that and then there's hair teas you can make just to spray your scalp and your hair with and I freeze those also um, I make a uh, flax gel um, that can act as a leave-in conditioner that um, you can um, comb out tangles easily and also does really good stuff for your hair and I freeze those too so I have all these bags of stuff for my hair that I've made it's so cool okay but I didn't couldn't find um, ice cube trays so I'm using these and the ice the cubes pop right out all right next I love these these are the Schneider's pretzel rods I like that brand I think they taste good so I got them okay get more glue sticks so I think I picked up five or six something like that um, just glue sticks I just need to get I usually try to keep five to ten on hand again this is something else that sometimes they run out of so I try to keep five to six on hand and I needed to replenish my supply I picked up three of these Eileen's tacky again this is another thing these are basics for your crafting so just keep these you know keep three four or five on on hand because $1.25 for your glue sticks, $1.25 for your Eileen's Tacky is an excellent price. So I picked up three of these just to replenish my little stockpile in my craft room. You guys, I craft all the time. I craft every day. And I don't want to ever, I don't like to have to run to the store for some glue. I like to run to my craft room, to my stockpiles for my crafting. If you're a crafter, you know. Um, I picked up, this was on the tail, I picked these up a few weeks ago, but it was on the tail end of the back to school. And remember I told you this jot glue, you guys, this is excellent glue. Um, instead of four for a dollar, because it's back to school, you got eight for a dollar. So I picked up five more because they still were selling it. I'm like, okay, I have like a ton of this. I have enough glue sticks for the whole year, probably for longer than a year. Um, this is just as good as the Yuhu glue. So if you junk journal, art journal, craft, get these glue sticks in your life even if you only can buy the four pack. Now, whenever I use a glue stick, I always hit one area three times. One, two, three. Whether I use a Yoohoo, which is more expensive, or I'm using this. But this is really good, and you're getting eight sticks for $1.25. Excellent. Okay, here's the two. Um, we already went through this. This is the Smoky Browns in the new packaging, and the Dreamy Mobs. Okay, so these will go with the giveaway. Five eyeshadow palettes. That's crazy good. Okay. Don't fall. Okay, I picked up two of these. Um, well, you know what? Okay, here. I picked up two of these because these are supposedly um, a uh, TikTok uh, gone viral Dollar Tree br detangling brush. And um, this is called, it's a dupe for the unbrush. So it's supposed to be really good for detangling hair. And for black women's hair, especially if, like I've gone, I haven't done relaxers for quite a few years now. So, um, so I'm growing out my hair. And once I do, and, and what I'm doing is this now, my extensions is more of like a protective style. So I'm redoing my hair. I've dedicated to doing my hair every month, redoing my extensions every month. So my braids are only in there for four weeks. So when I do it, I put a nice detangler in there, which is like a flax gel that I made. And then um, finger, get the tangles out. And then supposedly this brush is awesome. So I'm going to test this out for tangles. There's another one that's really, that's like 10 bucks and everybody loves it. But I went on um, YouTube and this uh, girl, she, this black girl, she said this brush gets out the kinks, the tangles, really good. So, without pulling out hair. 
because that's what you want. You want to be able to mostly finger comb your hair when you have black hair. Mostly finger comb it because our hair <clears throat> can break easy. And then take a brush like this that you can get through it and and not pull out hair. So you're reserving your length so you can grow it out. So we're going to test these out. I'm redoing my extensions on Wednesday. So I'll see how much, how much of my hair, how much longer my hair is. And I'm going to test out these brushes. And I got two because if I like it, I want the second one. So... And it's called a, like I said, it's called the unbrush. And it's a, it's a dupe for the unbrush. But it's called, the brand is Bell and Joy Detangling Brush. That was a long-winded explanation, but I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about that because I'm going to do videos once I take my extensions out of how I grew out my hair and all that. So, um, anyway, here we go. And then, um, this is also part of this whole process, um, these, these, uh, flexible, like, rods. Just want to make sure, oh yeah, perfect. Now, the reason I got these, I was watching this girl, I was watching this black girl who has my type of hair, and, um, she does a thing called stretching your hair. So, she, since you're not relaxing it, you can also flat iron your hair and, you know, wear the length, which I'm going to do that too. But um, you can do a thing called stretching, which is after you uh, wash and then um, detangle and then uh, do a really good deep conditioning moisturizing treatment on your hair. Um, braid your hair up in like two, three, or four braids. But one braid, I'm going to do mostly one braid, and it stretches the hair so that you can get the length in your hair. And when you take it out, it'll have a beautiful wave to it. And on the ends, she takes her ends and she just curls them under with this. So it protects the ends and puts a nice little curl on her ends. So that's why I got these because I saw that in her video. And then when I seen them, I was like, oh my God, I can get them for a dollar. 25. Okay. Oh, I picked up two of these. These are a wide frame uh, gla glasses. I didn't mean to pick up, because I already gave my husband one pair of these. I think these might fit my husband. It says wide frame. So that's why I got these. Look how nice they are. Aren't these nice? So that's why I picked these up um, for my husband. I, I wanted to just get one pair, but I ended up getting two. I wanted, just wanted to get one just in case he doesn't like them. He's, you know. He has, you know, he's 6'3", so, you know, he don't got a small head. Okay. What am I doing? Alright. But if he doesn't like them or whatever, I will take them back and trade them in for the ones for, that fit my face. Because I tried these on and they are a little bit big for my head. But if you have a bigger head or a man, these could be good for you. Okay? And they're, like I said, I don't mind paying $1.50. Look how much more, look how much better they're made. Look at the thickness of those frames. Nice. Okay. I just didn't think I picked up two of those. Anyway. What do we got going on over here? Okay. Um, I picked up, no big deal. Um, we ran out of gallon bags, so I picked up these. I don't think this is the best deal. Really, Sam's Club is your best deal, but you got 13. Oh, and make sure you get the 13, not the 9. So anyway, I needed some gallon bags. Got those. Um, I get my reusable gloves for uh, doing the dishes at Dollar Tree. I tested the ones at the grocery store. They're like 5 or $6. They last me the same amount of time, about six weeks, and then I need a new pair. So I get them at Dollar Tree. Um, I wanted to try this out, this Brillo Basics Dish Spray. So I got this, um, believe it or not, this is what I'm talking about, some of the shelves being empty. There was no dish soap. This was at the front of the store, and that's all they had. This, and they had some Dawn at the front, but only on like a, like a little small, you know, end cap. You guys know, okay? Dollar Tree at the back of the store, the whole wall is cleaning supplies. Almost the whole wall is, has nothing on it. There is some supply chain problem going on. But anyway, they had this Brillo Basics dish spray. And I wanted to try this anyway. So I got that. I had no choice anyway. 
And then I always pick up baby wipes, especially I love is this Fisher Price, no fragrance. The wipes are nice and thick. They're not thin like the their off brands are. So, and I like to have these at here in my craft room. I like to have them at my, at my makeup table, and then I like to have them in my art room. So I don't have to worry about when I need to wash my hands up or anything. I can just use baby wipes. I bought this because I am going through a hair growth journey. That's what we're calling it. And um, and I can also so this is for my hair growth journey when I'm when I get my hair long. I want to get my hair to the middle of my back. That's my first goal. After that, I want to grow it to my butt. I'm excited. Okay. Um, so I got these clippies and I could wear these in my hair right now in my extensions. I, I used to always wear my hair like that. If you guys remember before I was always wearing bows, I always had this pulled up and clipped up right here in a clip. So I can wear them now too. So I thought they were really, really pretty. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? You may see me wearing this really soon in a video. I like this. And then this one's really pretty too with the pearls. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What if I want to... This might be... I'm looking for things for my um, thumbnail. Okay. I got myself a um, shower liner. You guys, look at that shower liner. It's a heavy duty one for five bucks. Now they also have shower liners at Dollar Tree that are um, a dollar twenty-five, but they're so cheesy and cheap. They're they're horrible. But this is a nice thick one. So five bucks. I thought that was a good deal. So I needed another new shower liner. So I picked that up. It's nice that Dollar Tree has these things that you can just pick up and you don't have to go to Walmart. I'm at Dollar Tree, way more than I'm at Walmart. Then I picked myself up um, three of these um, pink baskets. Aren't they pretty? Some of mine had gotten broken and stuff. And um, and I thought I told myself as soon as they have the baby pink, because what I'd love to have is just all baby pink baskets, because I love baby pink. So here we go. Look how pretty. So now I have three of them. So I picked up three of those. And then oh more alcohol. We don't have to talk about that. Okay. And then last thing I got was um this is by uh Mercier. How do you say this? Le, Le, Le Mercier? Yeah, Le Mercier. Uh Sunlight Bronzer. Um, adds the perfect glow. Colors like this, I like them for blushes. Um, I think for lighter skin, this could be a really good bronzer. But it could be a good bronzer for me too. You know, let me just, before I keep talking. Oh, this is what it looks like. Sorry, I just took the stamp together. This is what the packaging looks like. Nice, huh? So, I saw somebody uh, haul this in their video. And I just thought, you know what? I don't need bronzer. I don't need blush. I need zero makeup, okay? But I wanted to see what what it, what, what the color was. So let's see. And I may love it. No fragrance. Look how pretty that is. I definitely I think this would be a really good bronzer for lighter skin, lighter and medium tone skins. But colors like this for darker skin could be a really pretty, see, I knew it could be a really pretty blush. And also you could use it as a bronzer on darker skin too. This could be great for an eyeshadow. This could be a color where you use it as um, at, in your uh, crease bone. You can use it as blush. You can warm up your face with it in like maybe around here and then here. This is what the color looks like. In fact, you know what, let me put the color on my hand. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And then that's what the color looks like on my skin. Gorgeous. 
and if you're my skin tone you could definitely use this just to warm up your skin as a bronzer but then um i think this could be a good bronzer for lighter skin tones this could go for a lot of people that's really pretty i would wear that as a blush i would wear that in the crease like if you just wanted to do really quick makeup do your foundation and your powder really quick you could put this on as blush then put it in your crease and you maybe you can warm up your forehead and warm up this area. All with this color. For a really quick, beautiful, natural makeup look. I like this. I'm going to test that out. Because um, if I like it, I want to pick up a couple more before they go. Because they had quite a bit of them there, but I only picked up one because I was like, I don't know if I like it. You know what? I like that. You know, I'll pick up, I'll try to get over there today or tomorrow. Not today. Tomorrow or the next day. And I'll pick up several of them and I'll put them in giveaways. That's a nice giveaway because that's going to really fit a lot of different skin tones. It's really pretty. Okay, you guys, that is it for this one. Make sure that you sign up for the, um, that you leave a comment below for the giveaway. Um, you just need to be a subscriber and leave a comment and have a U.S. address. That's it. So sorry for you guys, my international subbies. I'm so sorry. Um, you know, the shipping costs. It's just ridiculous. Um, and that is it, you guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you can give this video a thumbs up. Any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. And remember, guys, we have more in common than we don't. And together, we're stronger. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.